But we have to realize that um, women in Iran are not a monolithic group. In other words, they are not one big category. Women are different in their profession, in their social class, in their educational aspirations and background, in their ethnicity, even where they live, whether they're in rural areas, in urban areas, in the tribal areas, the circumstances are quite different. So we cannot really generalize that. So when I say Iranian women, one has to understand these distinctions. Given that, then, you know, there were sev uh, some opportunities that the Shah provided for women. But then again, it was mostly concentrated to urban centers for women of uh, middle class or upper middle classes. In 1963, um, under the uh, rubric of the White Revolution, women were given a, a chance to vote and to be elected to the parliament, to the Senate, to high offices, to become judges, to become lawyers, and women took advantage of that. One very important thing that happened in 1967 and later on was tweaked in 1975 was to change the personal law. It was called Family Protection Law. Under the family protection law, polygamy, that is to say men marrying several wives, was restricted. It wasn't banned. It was restricted. From then on, men had to get the wife's permission in order to get a second wife. Still, they could go ahead and get a second wife if they wanted to, but they had to get their wife's permission. Two, divorce was not unilateral any longer. It had to be by mutual consent. Custody of children became very important. You know, the children were not automatically going to their fathers after a, a divorce. It had to be decided based on the child's welfare. And many other things happened that was really very important. Problem is that didn't get a chance to be fully implemented because shortly thereafter, then there was the revolution. And we really may never know the extent of um, those legal changes.